y'all. Supreme, yeah. we are we are back. We are back together. And the the wild thing is, I was talking to my my Korean lady, and the reason why she and I have been connected. We've been connected for a little while before all of this talk of the West 4B. She came yeah. over. Oh, hold on. What is this? Hold on. What I can hear that? you. Good. Can you hear me? Hold on. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. I don't know what that is. I'm closing all of these. <laughs> the tabs. <laughs> Oh, that was funny. I don't know what that was. Okay. So what was I saying? I met this woman. I had a series of videos going that was called the Chronicles of George. And in the Chronicles of George, it was like this bumbling man that didn't know how to properly adult. And so she started up on my page because of the Chronicles of George, but she stuck around because I also talk about birth rate situations and South Korea and the South Korean birth rate plummeting to hell has always kind of fascinated me. And so she and I connected on TikTok and she gets into my inbox on Instagram periodically. Now you come into my life and you're just talking. And I'm like, well, I happen to talk to a Korean woman and she happens to be dropping things into my inbox um, last night, like dropping me articles and stuff. And I'm like, why don't we just go live? Now, this woman that we are bringing on is a, I think she's like a PhD candidate or something like that. So when I was talking to her, I was like, dang it, I scheduled this for, fr for Friday. I don't usually go live on Friday. So it is kind of wild that I have 41 sets of eyeballs um, on us right now. Yeah. And it's Friday morning, 45 sets of eyeballs. Like, what in the world is going on? It's Friday morning. <laughs> but she said that her Fridays and Saturdays look exactly the same Great. because um, because she, um, I guess, because she's a student and she doesn't have classes on Fridays. So we are here. And the wild thing um, is Supreme. Um, are you responsible for having this many eyeballs? Is this you? Because no, I don't think so. I don't know anybody in these TikTok streets. You know, I'm a small, that this is all you. <laughs> I this, just told people to share the live, but I don't think people, it's not me, it's you. It's more so you than anything. So you didn't tell people to come into this chat? This no, I, so I shared it in the WhatsApp group, the West 4B movement WhatsApp group. And you know, it's, it's Friday morning. So I'm thinking, well, Maybe everyone is at work, maybe, right. you know, having lunch. They're not going to be, you know, they're going to be like out and about. So, right. you know, but that's how life, isn't that funny how sometimes like, it's so funny how I, I'm, you came into the live that day and I was so kind of like, there's no way bourbon bougie is in this live. You know what I'm saying? Like at that time, I think I had like 9K followers. And again, I started West 4B a year ago, going live, two people in the live, one person in the live, no one really, and then like magic, it just came together. And it's just crazy how it did because I believe that it could work in the West, even though people kind of said it didn't. So it's just funny how you connected and you came and you kind of made this work because I, we, and I think this collab is gonna be one of many because yeah. we have so many people telling us that, well, Korean women feel this way about Black women. Korean right. women feel this way about the West 4B. Korean women aren't really into the West. There are no feminists in Korea. They don't think like that. They're fine. They're all into right. makeup culture and K-pop and, you know, but right. I'm thinking it can't, they can't all be like that. There right. has to be one feminist in Korea. Like, be so for real. So yeah. this is amazing. And that's the, that's the, the link up that I would like to do. All of those women um, who are feminists, who are looking around the world and seeing what what feminism, radical feminism looks like. Because again, we're, we're told by men, even men who are in Korea, black men, like I've met four passport bros and they're in Korea right now. And they're kind of like, Korean women don't think like this. You guys are tripping out. This is right. not, there are no feminists in Korea. Right. It's, yeah, this is what they're saying to us mm -hmm. as to why we should be discouraged right. and not doing this because it's a fake movement and Korean women don't think like, um, Korean women don't have any problems. Black women don't have any problems according to them too, but 
that's another story. right and, and that's that's the thing um i don't know if these people the these peen havers actually even listen to women. And so when I started my page and you know and understand exactly how this is, like if you make something specifically just for black women, it can it can limit, you know, your reach. And since I started my pages and it has always been women, just women, some of the black women that started with me, you know, sometimes they were like, you know, why are you talking about that? Why are you talking about that? But because I was able to do this the way that I did this, I have global reach and I have different women that will talk to me. And so, like I said, this woman has been chit chatting with me for a little while now. And one of the things that she said um, is that feminism over in South Korea, and other people have said this too, that they can't really be feminist over there because they could get docs, their safety could be in jeopardy, but men don't listen to women. They don't even listen to us. How do they know what's going on globally? Like, you know, it doesn't even make sense to even pay any attention to them because they don't pay attention to women. <sighs> okay, so- um, They don't pay attention to what women are saying. And even still- and you know what's so funny? They're very performative because now I'm seeing the narrative change in, in these TikTok lives where men are saying, we never, we were never red pill. We love black women. We, 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 we where, where are you getting this from? We were ne we never had these complaints. This is all fake. Right. Now that and they're not even talking about changing their behavior, doing the things that they need to do to be better human beings. It's all a performance. It's all no, we always loved you guys. What are you talking about? You see what I'm saying? So this is why women have to stick true to the West Forby movement. Because again, these men are not really going to change. They're just going to perform to get you back to where you were a year ago or two. And then the same thing happens over and over and over again. So, um, you know, we're, we're, we're on YouTube and people could just ha happen to be scrolling before she comes on, because for the people in the chat, this was literally supposed to start at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. So that's like eight minutes away. Um, so Jihei, I told her 10 o'clock. So me and Wes, me and Supreme are just kind of shooting the breeze right now. But um, everybody in here might not be aware of what is the West 4B. So can you just um, list off the tenets so that the people who may not know are primed and ready to go. Yeah. So the West 4B movement is essentially um, based on a movement in South Korea that I heard about from the news article, The Cut. It was thecut.com. It was an, an article and the article entitled, it was a world without men, Korea's 4B movement. And the four Bs stood for, well, in their language, they, they have the Bs, but there are no babies, no marriage, no sex, and no dating. And this was in response to what the women in Korea are going through in regards to patriarchy, um, male voyeur violence, sexual violence, and the like. And I kind of said, wow, you know, when I read the article, it was so impactful to me. And I remember thinking, wow, women in the States are going through the same thing. They're victims of sexual violence. They're victim of um, um, homicide, femicide rates. Even their children are victims of crimes at the hands of men. And at that time, I just said, why Why isn't there like a West 4B? Why isn't there a 4B movement here? And again, at that time, everyone kind of said, well, you're stupid. That'll never work. Women will never stop dating men in the Western world. Um, the West is very Christian. You have to be fruitful and multiply and get married and do. And I said, yeah, you're right. Women in the West are always doing what they're supposed to do. But again, they're not really happy. And we see this statistically. They're not happy with childbirth. They're not happy a lot of the times in marriage. It's, and of course, you. Have, and I'm speaking in bell curve here. There are the exceptions, right? As Joy would say, always speaking in bell curve. So for the, a lot of times, statistically, women are just not having a good time in regards to how they're treated in the Western world. And so I just said, well, I'll just make a West 4B. And then I created the website. I did all of these things. Um, and that's just how it kind of took off. And it sat on the shelf because again, no one was really interested. And my dream was to kind of have women come together in a virtual community and just learn about 
what radical feminism looks like because I don't think women have that information. And a lot of women shy away from the term yes. radical feminist, right? Yes. They shy away from Dworkin. They shy away from Bell Hooks. They shy away from Marilyn Fry, who in 1968 called men parasites. Men are incapable of love. 1968, she was writing this, Marilyn Fry. So women have no idea who these women are. And we also see how men kind of or um, infiltrated feminism with their own ideologies on how women should behave. So I kind of said, well, what if we got women thinking radically about feminism? Because again, in the black community, feminism is like a bad word. Right. Feminism has been used to weaponize, we feminism is a word that has been used to weaponize black women for speaking up about the shit that concerns them. I'm sorry, the things that concern them. So, um, and it's so, ugh, this is so sad because Historically, if it weren't for the radical feminist, we wouldn't have what we have today as women. You wouldn't have a bank account. You wouldn't be able to buy a home on your own. You wouldn't be able to get a driver's license. You wouldn't be able to get a passport without your husband's permission. You wouldn't be able to get birth control without a man's permission. You would. The things that we have now today as women is because of radical feminists that no, we need these things. We're being abused by our husbands. We're not allowed to get abortions. We're not allowed to get birth control. You gotta give us a break here. Right. And those laws was, were put in place. But now we see a rollback of all of the things that radical feminists fought for in the 60s and 70s. And I think it's because of women kind of not aligning themselves with radical feminism. They don't really they don't really I think they find it kind of ick because men has men have associated or men have convinced women that radical feminism would mean that one, you're a lesbian two you hate men. Three, you want all men to unalive and get rid, and that's not radical feminism. It's 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 um to me it's a it's a freedom chase. Radical feminism to me is freedom, and we don't have um. I think something happened. I don't know what happened, but she left. We don't have the the luxury to not have these discussions surrounding what true freedom looks like. We know what male freedom looks like because we see it in patriarchy. You know, men are not the ones really getting in trouble for childbirth or pregnancy or birth control right now. They're kind of chilling out and they're sitting back. They're kind of laughing at the fact that, well, no more, no more abortions, no more birth control. You know, now if you have a miscarriage in certain states, you're going to be prosecuted. Men don't really give a shit about this. And I think we need to give a shit about those things because those things are very important. Um, again, and this is a, this is radical feminist theory. Um, even in my Zooms, we're going to start a radical feminist seminar. Of course, we have movie night. We just watched Jane, and that movie was amazing because it showed this um, this time period of when abortions were not legal for women and what women had to go through to kind of um, just to kind of have the the privilege of making a choice. Right. So if you slept with a man who was already married and you didn't want to procreate and be a single mom. OK, so you had the choice of what you would like to do. To Sorry. No problem. Yeah, so that would basically be it. I think I think Burb is having some technical difficulties, so we'll just stand by. But yeah, for the most part. Um, Zero Tolerance said, can we have a panel discussing the benefits of following 4B? There are so many benefits. Absolutely. Well, to me, there's so many benefits. Some women would find this not to be beneficial at all. They still want to engage with men. They still love men. They are still interested in learning how to vet men, how to understand the male psyche, how to um, get men to court them, how to get men to marry them. There are still women interested in that. And that's also okay. If this is something that you would like to partake in, then wonderful. I Please. am a person where it's kind of like, well, I think there's too much work going into doing that, considering that men are not really interested in those things. Because if they were interested in those things, we wouldn't see the numbers that we're seeing in regards to marriage, in regards to how men feel about children, in regards to if, man, if men are interested in what's going on with Roe v. Wade. For the most part, men are radio silent on what's happening to women in the country. I don't really think they give a shit. And um, sadly, that's where we are. So to me, the benefits would be political and social first. There we go. You won't really have to worry about 
smushmortion or abortion laws, because you know on TikTok we can't say abortion. Right. You won't really have to worry about abortion and birth control laws if you're not actively engaging in having sex with men. So that topic right there is wiped off the table. And again, there is the violence factor. And we know that men say this, well, what about instances, you know, men love the hypothetical. They love the, the world where everything is a hypothetical scenario. And they've convinced women to kind of exist in these hypothetical scenarios with them, right? And women do partake in it because I get a lot of messages, well, the men are gonna come and they're all gonna rape us. And it's like, okay, ma'am, <laughs> here's the thing. There are things that you can do to protect yourself against rape rape you can there are things you can do you don't necessarily have to fall down and be victims to what men are saying that they're going to do you know what i'm saying and that would include protecting yourself getting your concealed carry learning to take a self-defense course and staying safe traveling in packs working and walking with other women so on and so on and so forth i don't like the fact that women are fear-mongering other women against this movement saying things like well you're gonna get, you're gonna get, oh, hi, nice to see you. Hi, I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you so before I start up, y'all, yeah. um, Mooney wants to know if you got, Jihei, do you have a YouTube channel? I don't. Okay, so she doesn't have a YouTube channel, y'all. And y'all can follow West 4B. She is just West 4B, like it probably says on, um, on the picture here. So. Oh my goodness, guys! We have almost two hundred sets of eyeballs. I wow, hope that that's we, amazing. I hope that yes, now we have two hundred sets of eyeballs. I hope that we have um, two hundred likes on here. So, um, obviously, just for just to throw it out here, life happens. Y'all see that I just had technical difficulties, but um, Supreme can talk, obviously. And if I get disconnected, I saw that it still goes on. So cool. Just keep on chatting away. If I fall off, I will come right back. Um, now, this woman, Jihei, she, like I said, she chit chats with me in. Can I, can I stream this also on TikTok or no? I don't know how that works. I mean, I, I'm just going to turn my phone on and just do it that way. Do it. Yeah, cool. Thank you. I'm just going to start it. But go ahead. I'll mute Oh, you you don't have you don't have to mute because um the cool thing is this woman this other woman be below Jihei she um she is a student and I know that she is coming with things that are going to be like technical and stuff she was like I'm I was on Korean Reddit getting prepared so <laughs> she she <laughs> she came prepared like this is an assignment not just talking so I am going to mute myself because I want this to be a conversation where we are learning a different perspective so G had I mean tell the people who you are what's going on like who are you well, hello everyone. My name is Jihei. I'm currently an MA candidate in the Department of Religion at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. Um, I'm also half Korean, Korean American, um, and I, in addition to being interested in religion, I'm really interested in like Korean history, Korean politics, um, and I just I, I'm excited about the opportunity to discuss some of the stuff I learned in my Korean history class. So, yeah. That's um, Sup Supreme, you you wanted me to connect y'all, so you fire away. You don't have to stay on mute. You know, okay. you can, you can yeah. talk to G. Hey, because this is what you wanted. I am the connector. I, yeah. I'm just I'm just bringing the eyeballs. So I thank can you definitely start off with like a brief like history of just Korean feminism in general. Yes, that that oh please do that. That would be amazing. I have TikTok. TikTok is in the building too. I have I'm streaming this on TikTok as well. But a Korean, a brief history of Korean feminism would be great because we're told in the States by, of course, you know, black men, we spoke about this earlier, there are no feminists in Korea. Feminism doesn't exist in Korea. The women in fem and the women in Korea have no interest in feminism. They're interested in getting married, you know, putting on makeup, um, having children, and that women in the West are delusional in thinking that Korean women would ever be feminist at all. We're told. Um, Korean women are not open to anything in regards to feminist theory, radical feminism. So it'd be, it would be great if you being Korean 
tell us the truth about well, that. Well, like I said, I am Korean American. Um, I've never had the opportunity to go to Korea, but I have studied Korean history pretty extensively. Um, so that's, that's a very Western construct that people are putting onto the country of Korea. So going back to like the beginning, um, the indigenous religion of Korea is called Mukyo, which is Korean shamanism, and that's a matriarchal religion. Um, typically, the um, if men were to participate during ritual, they would be more of like an effeminate type man, kind of like on, um, not to again, apply like a modern construct, but kind of like on almost a gender queer spectrum. Um, so if you fast forward to like 1900s, right? Um, Japan is colonizing Korea and the March 1st movement is building. And the entire March 1st movement was organized by women activists at AWA Women's University or AWA Women's College. Um, so like from the beginning, it, this is a feminist nationalism that's in opposition to the sex slavery that Japan is imposing onto Korea. Um, so feminism and nationalism for Koreans from the beginning was like this, right? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And I, I think that that's really what laid the groundwork for 4B. So yeah, you're not going to find people that are overtly claiming this section of identity politics, right? Like that's such a, a Western um, expectation for Korean women to just be like openly, overtly identify with this movement, right? Um, but I do, I do want to um, point out that it's it's important to not idealize the 4B movement in Korea because um, within Korean culture, kind of baked into the 4B movement, there's a lot of homophobia and transphobia. So I think if it were to be adapted by the West, um, it it's really imperative um, to actively like not include like transphobia and homophobia. And I did notice on the website. The spelling of women that you have is um, W O M Y N or X, and unfortunately, those have become turf dog whistles. So I would just stick with the classic spelling of women, um, if I were you. Yeah. So in regards to the in regards to women in South Korea, what do they feel about the four B movement right now? Like, what are they working towards? I mean, honestly, um, there's really no way to know. I've seen some street interviews, and women are just kind of like. I mean, I hate those street interview channels because it's like you're expecting people to just like put their opinions out there. The reason um, a lot of these resistance movements that were organized by women were so successful in Korea is because they were underground, because they were anonymous, um, because they weren't overt about it. So it's really, I don't think it's possible to know. I think the proof is in the pudding, though. We're seeing the declining birth rate. So expecting women to like Korean women to come out and just say, Oh, I'm part of the 4B. The proof is in the pudding. We already know the birth rate is drastically declining, you know? Does that have to do with the war previously? Because I was told that um, I had another person on a panel and he said, well, <coughs> war is not the, the declining birth rate in Korea is not because of the 4B. It's because of the war previously in Korea that, is the re that started the decline. Is that why, why do you think that the the 4B movement even like had a reason to be created. It's, it's a symptom of the war. It's a symptom of the sex slavery that was carried on after the Japanese colonized Korea. And I, so I, this is something I meant to say. So you can look at evidence of Korean feminism. Um, and one example is through literature. There's two very popular books um, by Korean authors that were recently published. Number one, um, Please Look After Mom by Shin Hyung Suk and Born 1982 by Kim Ji Yong. Um, and I think like looking at the literature of a culture is a is a way to get like, you know, some sort of bird's eye view into what they're thinking, what they're feeling. These were two best selling books, both about like just the plight of women, the plight of the Korean woman. Yeah. And what are the names, if you have any of some radical feminists in Korea right now? They're anonymous. Really? OK. Yeah. They're, the, 4B is an anonymous online movement. There's no real leader. There's no head. There's no organ. It's just anonymous. I'm sure that it. there's some sort of organization, but we're not going to know that. And that's so fucking privileged to expect to like receive that information, you know, like from this, like this Western perspective. Yeah. 
And that's what I was told too, that it's pretty anonymous. And then you won't really get women who co would come out and kind of say, oh, I'm for B, I'm for B, I'm for B. Well, like how you do see in the West. So yeah, you are right about that. And also it's like women may be participating in 4B, like not subconsciously, but they may be holding these ideals and then not claim the actual title of it, you know? Yeah. So um, y'all, if, uh, if I drop, because I don't know what's going on and why my Wi-Fi is unstable, obviously you guys have it and both of you guys can, I mean, both of you ladies can talk obviously. So <laughs> my, I am falling in and out. I don't know what's going on. Um, Jihei, um, the books that you, the books that you just mentioned, can you mm -hmm. please type them into the yeah. chat? Do you see a chat? They're asking for that. And you can, um, you, um, TikTok as well for the book. Oh gosh. Okay. If you can, and, um, um, yeah, I just have my phone. It's like typing on my phone is awkward. Right. Um, Wes, I mean, Supreme, did you tell them to come over to this YouTube spot? Because um, I saw if want to, for the TikTok people, we're streaming on YouTube. You can go to West 4B Movement on YouTube, and that's where we're streaming, or Bourbon Bougie Bourbon on YouTube Bougie. as well. And yeah. um, yeah, we can come over there on that. I also wanted to speak about or ask about what is the importance of silence in the 4B movement? What is the importance of that in Korea? Because in the West, it's pretty different. The West, they're very loud. They're very, you know, they want to kick the door down. They're kicking over garbage cans. Why is silence important for a movement like this? Well, Korea has uh, been a Confucianist country since 1300. I think it's more of a cultural element. Um, and that like Korea literally has been formed by this patriarchal system of Confucianism since it was introduced. Uh, I think it was like 1302 um, during the Joseon dynasty. Um, so like, once again, this is just a matter of Western perspective, Eastern mindset, right? Um, like expecting, looking at another feminist movement in another country and just expecting it to like part and parcel look like what we'd expect it to. I think the most helpful thing would be to look throughout history, like Holland um, in 1981 had that woman's strike where they all stopped doing domestic labor. And I think like the whole economy halted go back into ancient Greek history, Lizzie Strata, they went on a sex strike. Yeah. Um, this is, this is, the 4B movement is not original. That's the thing. It's not yeah. original. Yeah. There's a thread throughout history within feminism that connects it with other movements. Yeah. And I, I think I spoke about what happened in Liberia as an example of women holding mm. a sex strike and stopping a civil war. But again, I don't think, especially in the Black community, that they are familiar with that history. It's not really... Again, for on in Black Talk, which is the Black space of TikTok, they're all saying things like, well, you guys are culturally appropriating Korean women. I said, well, no, women of all over the world have done this. Women mm -hmm. all over the world have found ways to give them to use birth control, different herbs, different ways to perform abortion. Like you, you can't say one thing is original to one place because you're hearing about it today on TikTok and you think it's original. Like you mm -hmm. have to be historically handsome just a little bit. But yeah, um, I wanted to ask you something else. Oh, in regards to the, I don't know if you saw the leader of um, Korea and he had this seminar where there were so many women and he was crying and he was saying, well, you ladies should start having children because it would mean, you, did you see that at all? <laughs> Is that the president of South Korea? Yeah, did you see it? Um, no, but he's part of a very conservative um, far right wing party. Um. Oh, what's I had it written down. We have someone in the comments who said, uh, hi, I am a Korean woman who also participate in 4B movement. And if it's possible, I would like to join the interview. Yeah. Will it be possible? Um, do you have the link to put in the chat? I'm not sure. I can't really say her name. I'm sure the Okay, I, I'll handle that. It's so tiny I can't read it. I'll, hand, I'll <laughs> handle it. It's tiny. Nice pajamas. Oh, they, thank you. They're from Costco. They look like pajamas. They look like um <laughs> it looks like an outfit. Yeah, it's a set. They're Monstera leaves. Oh, I like it. It's great. I mean, so if you're looking for, like, names of, like, famous women activists, there's Yu Kwon Su, um, who was instrumental in organizing the March 1st movement. Because, like, like I said, there's, like, this feminist nationalism in Korea. 
You said March 1st movement, right? Yeah, but that's that's a, that's the Korean liberation movement, like from the Japanese colonizers. That wasn't a feminist movement, right? Can you speak a little about a, a little bit about the comfort women? Are you? I, I'm sure you're familiar with that. Is that because I was told, of course, in Tiki Talk land, which is mm -hmm. I don't think it's true that the, the, that's a myth. Comfort women never existed. The women who were brought or taken were brought to, you know, it's of course. <laughs> I, I think anyone that says that comfort women didn't exist needs yeah. lobotomy. Um, so can you speak about that in Japan? Because again, I, I just, mean, it's just. It's your classic sex slavery. Korean, Korean women were forcibly um, raped and traded in marriage by Japanese soldiers. And then that, that kind of abuse carried on after the war and Korean men kind of have taken up I mean, my, my own grandmother was traded by her father to pay off a gambling debt into marriage. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> kind of a not fun thing to talk about, but um, knowing that about comfort women is kind of instrumental to understanding, like, why there might be a 4B movement in Korea. So comfort women were primarily Korean, and they were from they were given to Japan. Korean and Filipino, yes. Korean and Filipino, yeah. Well, I thought actually, comfort women was um all around the world because it was done by Japanese um so soldiers. So it was also in the Chinese and China and oh, yeah, yes, too right. because I used to work at the N NGO of comfort women that has been done by. Um, American soldiers in South Korea. Can you listen to me? Yes, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I used to, I like my camera is not working and my not, English is not that good. But um, comfort woman. Oh, is, <laughs> or, oh, uh, if I if I have trouble in speaking English, I will uh, ask you for translation. I work for the um, Migun Yambu center which is comfort women that has been done by american soldiers which has been um oh, like organized by korean government but it it was for the serving the u.s military mm -hmm. and it is like a system that of um like brothel is that mm -hmm. nightclub or bar that mm -hmm. was prostitution and um, owned by the government? So the comfort woman idea is not that very different from um, prostitution. Yes. Yeah. 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 And uh, but I don't really think that four B movement has to do with the comfort woman because most of the women who participate in four B movement does not really know much about the comfort woman. They just know ideally that comfort woman ha is like actually happen, and they really have a great rage about the government for neglecting mm -hmm. the woman. But they don't really know much. Of the idea of comfort woman has not been related to the for me movement, so it's kind of different. Yes. Interesting. I was like, I was kind of wondering if it uh, maybe like influenced it or mm -hmm. laid a foundation for it. Um, actually, the most idea that has been influenced was um, off the course movement. Mm. Yeah, that was the idea that actually initiated the Forbi movement because when women started to think about the corsets, they thought they kind of realized what makes women a woman in this in, in this community. So they started to think about the main main of patriarchy and noticed that marriage and um, marriage and romantic relationship between men has mm -hmm. to do with the basic of patriarchy. So they kind of started to boycott the whole idea of marriage and dating with men. And that is what we call Forbi movement. Mm -hmm. And it has been done like few, like, it started, I think, 2018 uh, or so. So it has been done a quite while. And the 4B movement is not that active as it was back in like mm -hmm. years ago, uh, six years ago. But it has still, uh, it has an influence still. And I, for me, it's kind of interesting that it became viral these days. So yeah. Yeah, it, it really is interesting because, I, like I was saying, it's not like it's the same as feminism in America, right? Like yes. Koreans have a different culture. 
Yeah, because most of the in Korean history, the feminism reboot has started by online. So mm -hmm. many women kind there is no person who actually initiate this movement. They just kind of start talking around the internet and saying like sharing their opinions through online, especially on Twitter, and they kind of mm -hmm. form this kind of dialect dialogue. So yeah. yeah. So that's what I did like a year ago. Yeah. I, I read the, the discourse. Yeah, yeah, I read the cut article about the 4B and a year ago mm -hmm. I started the West 4B and back then no one really cared. And I just mm -hmm. wanted to create a space like an online space so that women who did want to participate in 4B can just have that space to talk because you really can't talk in you really can't talk on TikTok, you really can't talk on Facebook, you really can't you really can't speak on anything. So I said, well, Maybe if I held Zoom meetings where we can all get together and speak about like what we're going through as women. And it's so cool that you, you're here. And I wanted to ask yes. you, what do, what does the, the 4B movement in Korea, what do they think about the world doing 4B? Because, you know, we're told different things in the West. And I this is why I'm so grateful for Burb, because um, I tried to get in touch with Korean women. I asked and I never really can get a connection. So this is why Burb is such, I think she can like read my mind because I was kind of like, <laughs> it, would, it would be great to speak to a Korean woman. It would be great to speak to a woman who's over there, who kind of knows. So like, what do you think about the world doing this or are you not excited about it? Well, I'm like, actually I, I like the startup movie movement and the idea started from the West, I think, because Korean women started studying the radical feminism through the books that has been written by Western feminists. So mm -hmm. I think this is not a very special movement, but wow. yeah. it's kind of surprise. I was really surprised that like all people in the world started um get caught interested in this idea. But actually it doesn't really hits me that much because well, in Korea, living as a feminist is such a hard thing because there are so many backlash here and you can't really talk about 4B with um, your face open. So it doesn't really, um, I couldn't, I can't really feel it about it. It doesn't touch me that much. And it's just kind of thing that you cannot, I cannot understand that. Like, I cannot understand why it's that's all. And mm -hmm. Because still living in Korea as a feminist is such a hard thing and you get a lot of attacks by as a living as a feminist and speaking up as a feminist because even um it like even the um even the politicians here doesn't want to talk about feminism itself. They think that feminism is the word that they should not speak of. Yeah. That's yeah, that's the kind of, I think, oh, did you want to go? I'm sorry if I- No, I, I, I was just, 이름이 뭐예요? 아, 저는 김지연이고요. 저는 한국에서 다양한 페미니즘 활동을 진행했었고, 뉴욕타임스에서 탈코르셋 인터뷰로 참여했었던 사람입니다. 네. 네, 감사합니다. 네, 네. What was said? Oh. I just asked her name. <laughs> and how did she say her name? How do you say your name? Because we ah, can't to read, sorry. But you can just call me Kanti. Kanti, okay. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Kanti. Yeah. Yes. Kanti. 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 Yes, you can call me Kanti. Um, I was probably in and out. Did you tell mm -hmm. us, tell the audience? Because Kanti just jumped into the live. Yes. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know you. Can you tell yeah. me a little bit about you? I'm sorry. Um, uh, my name is Kanti and my Korean name is Jeon Kim. I am a woman, women's rights activist. I used to work as a women's rights activist and I did a lot of interviews such as New York Times about the off the course movement. And I also done an interview on the YouTube videos just it's like showing about and speaking about the 4B movement. I filmed a video at Soguno, Soguno YouTube channel Yes, doc it was a documentary. So yes, that's all. <laughs> awesome. Way more qualified than I am. Like I said, I'm a I'm I'm a, I'm an American, Korean American. So I that's why I did research last night because I'm like, I know about Korean history, but not about Korean feminist history yes. as much. So Kanti, we would have to link because when I started the the West Forby, they kind of said it would never work. And they said that the women in the United States 
you know, we have a different we have a different caveat in the United States under patriarchy, which is religion. And I think a lot of the women in the United States are heavily religious, like heavily just Christian indoctrinated, you know. And with Christian indoctrination, you have the you got to get married because God would want you to. You got to have kids because you got to be fruitful and multiply. The man is the lead under God and you're under him with your children. So that would be one caveat in the 4B that we do discuss, like deconstructing from religion, decentering religion and kind of pulling apart the, um, the, the religious programming that many women in the States have, which is very difficult because women may have an issue with patriarchy and men, but they don't have that issue with God <laughs> and God being represented as a masculine father, those things. So what other hindrances do you have in Korea in regards to religion? What is the religion in Korea? Are they Christian, Muslim, Buddhist, Hindu? What is it largely, like? Largely Christian um, because of uh, that happened around 1900, around Japanese colonization. A lot of Presbyterian missionaries went um, to Korea. Yeah, but most of the women who participate in the movement has already done a discourse about religion, and they don't believe in most of all religions. They think that wow. yeah, Christian like um uh, like I, the history of um history of Christian itself is very misogyny. It was full of misogyny, and they started to kind of, um, they done a great refusal against Christians. So, yeah, we didn't have that much, and we were not that much hindered by the religion, yeah, because we have already finished a discourse about what is like life to be a Christian and why Christian is full of misogyny and why. Mm -hmm. Christian creates misogyny and maintains themselves through making women uh, marginalized. Yes. Yeah, and people are because especially in Korean oh, yeah. church, woman is like treated very like sightly. Like women mm -hmm. always have to do the core chores and does not cannot do cannot be the major person in the religion so mm -hmm. yeah we kind of finished the discourse about that yes. yeah and um people are saying on tiktok they said something like can you can you repeat what you said about korean women learning about radical feminism from the west oh I mean, yeah they, i yeah. have a lot of books about radical feminism and like at the first we kind of translated ourselves we kind of like found the book find the book mm -hmm. in in English and we, wow. like, we made a study and I like, kind of translated it one by one and so we had a copy then we did a uh, publishment or a uh, publishment movement there's we call it a publishment movement itself because wow um, publishing the books itself mm -hmm. was a movement as in the women's rights movement so there was a lot of publishing company not a lot but few like Yorda books and um other book companies like that so yeah, yeah so oh uh, this is so amazing i love this live yeah, yeah and it started to think at like women's university yeah <laughs> i and, love it um, like a lot of books here i bought like about uh, like kadalon like <laughs> I have it in uh, the Creation Patriarchy. I've got that book too. Creation of Patriarchy, yes. Yes, I'm I read, read it. it. Yep, I have that. Yeah, in my I book. have that too. And also the backlash. I got also, Kenti, I wanted to ask you um, this is what, again, in the Black community. This is what Black men are saying to us, to, to Black women, okay? And I wanted to ask you about this. So, Black men in the United States, they're saying to Black women, <laughs> that Korean women hate black women. And they're saying that Korean women are have no interest in feminism. They don't even like black women. So they would never want for black women to copy and culturally appropriate their 4B movement in South Korea. And this is what black men are saying, even right now in TikTok, black men are losing their minds. They're saying that <laughs> well, Korean women love us as black men, but they don't really like you, black woman. They don't they don't want you to be a part of their anything because they hate you. Can you Only to hit dog that? hollers. Yeah. Well, true. Just, Can you talk about that, Kanti, please? I've never heard about that before in Korea before on, like until you told me about it because 
we never had that kind of converse and racism in the west and racism in korea is very different because racism in the west has started from hatred against black people but in here we just not familiar with that so they don't have the concept of hate in their minds when you live as a korean pe person here so yeah. they don't have the thing to have a feeling about black woman and actually they care like they like to um wait a minute <laughs> i just can't think of the word uh like 연대하다를 뭐라고 하죠? 명배? 연대. Like 연대. Oh, um, oh my gosh. Now I'm, now I'm forgetting the English. <laughs> Give me one second. I'm gonna. 연대, 연대. Um. Ah, solidarity. They yes, want yes. Solidarity. They okay. want solidarity across the world and they <laughs> care a lot about it. And there's also in Korean radical um NGO has working for yeah um immigration women who face domestic violence there's a like in, in institution for that so it has nothing to do with it it's, it's like extremely false and like um for instance they we had a project about African women like about hmm. wow you did that is amazing I can't a believe female circumcision like in Africa yeah yeah we did a movement for that and we um <laughs> I, uh, I I my English is so bad and we did a big donation for the women yes. and we built a school for the women to stop um circumcision circumcision um yeah the female yeah i think it's circumcision yeah circumcision in africa yeah. so like korean woman who is um interested in farming movement does not have any feelings about the black woman yeah because we have, we have no reason to have a feeling because we we're just like it's hard to see other country uh, people from other country in korea so they may uh, thank you for a uh, compliment and uh, they made to actions that that is kind of racist but, but not like not deliberately but for um mistake but it has they don't have any feelings for black women and actually they are more into solidarity and their seminar who uh, their seminar uh uh, Korean woman, uh, Korean radical feminist has joined the seminar a lot, of, a lot of times to introduce our movement to other countries in the world because wow. we want to share. Yeah, so it has nothing to do with it, and like, and also I mean, this is like kind of personal thing, but we don't like informing movement is not a movement that is like has a. Um, um, tar is not targeted for um, spreading worldwide. It has to do with freeing myself from the patriarchy, so running away from patriarchy. So they, it has nothing to do with other people. I think yes. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Because like why we started it is just to first the first reason we started for the movement is to just to free ourselves from the patriarchy and free from men's violence and dating violence and all the digital sexual assortment uh, uh, sexual wait a minute oh digital sexual violence in korea because yes. that was so huge when you date a man in korea you always have to fear about getting filmed of your sex videos yeah so that was a basic reason we couldn't survive in korea while dating a man so it has nothing to do with um, all peoples from other countries from the start, but we are very happy to hear that other women from other countries are um, hearing from us. And um, so Korean women love the West 4B movement. There's no problem with the West 4B for the record. Because like we have, um, we've gone through um, so much of yeah. violence here in Korea. We face um even protest by 
anti-feminist anti-feminist groups. Yep. Yes, and I was also the target of one of the videos. And me myself has gone through so much of difficulty and so much of violence. So it's very heartwarming to hear that country people from other world of other countries um getting encouraged by us. So um, we are very thankful for it actually. Yeah. yeah, I think when I when I started it, it was kind of like, well, even though we're different races and we're on different sides of the world, mm -hmm. for some reason we're all going through the same thing. I think I think for the I think Korean women they have better abortion laws in Korea than we do in the states right now. So to to kind of meet you and to kind of say, wow, well, you don't have a problem with the West 4B movement. As a matter of fact, you don't have any beef with it. You don't see anything wrong with it. And when I started it, that was my biggest concern because again, we I was accused of culturally appropriating a movement. I was accused of stealing ideas. And again, this is from people who don't know history. Women have always done this. Women have always protested with their bodies, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So, Kanti, I would love to get your information so that we can go live together and maybe talk again. Um, okay. But thank you so much for talking to me. I really, really, really appreciate it. Like TikTok is going crazy. The men are losing it. <laughs> I, They're losing it in TikTok world right now. They're going nuts. I'm kind of used to it because in Korea, there are even more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Korea yeah. Yeah. are even more. And by faith, I, I, I used to talk with my face open and my pictures of my face around the internet is like 60 million 60 thousand at least mm -hmm. so i'm kind of used to it and i'm not fear i'm not fearful of it but still like i it was like great opportunity for me to speak here together with you also let, let me jump in um kanti um i'm going to put my email in the um in the chat Oh. And I need to make sure that you can get you put to mine it. too. Um, so that's for the movement at gmail.com. Can you put oh, yes, yes, yes. I'll, so, put, I'll type mine. So please, please um, connect with me um, because chat, you know, chat, right? Oh, I, I don't care. I, I have put my email out there enough. If she connects to me, I will connect us all. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Like, literally, I feel like the universe has just. I, I have no idea how this is all coming out. And like, literally, it is amazing that you jumped up on here because I know that, you know, the anti-feminist um, sentiment is wild, but I don't care. I've been um, out as a feminist for a long time, so I can be the face of whatever. You can send me whatever information I need to put out there and I will um, put it, you know, I will be the face of it. I don't care. So I put my email in the in the chat. Um, please connect with me. I'll, yeah. I'll even put it right here. And um, whatever you send to me, I will connect it with, um, I'll connect it with Supreme. Supreme, you know, I'll give you information. You, yes, you, I know you will. You're, and also, you're, um, even on our website, we say that we stand with South Korean women. So this is why I wanted for Kanti to see that. So it's not like, oh, we're stealing this from her and we're just running with it. No, we stand with Korean women. We stand with what they're going through. We, we stand with how they feel in regards to living under a patriarchy and living under these regimes that kind of oppress women. And now I think what's going on in Arizona, what do they do? They took a, a smushmortions or abortions completely off the table, even yeah. the rape and incest. Um, so these are, these are sour times for women. I'm gonna keep saying that. It's just a really sour time for us all. And we, the more that we connect and take down those racial barriers that patriarchy would like for us to stick in, the more powerful that we are as a group of women. You know, and I think this is so important. Thank you so much for organizing this, Verb. You are amazing again. And Jay, thank you so much for being here as well with your beautiful pajamas. Yeah, come to me that come to you. That, amazing that you popped on. Big time. <laughs> yeah, the, and TikTok, the men won't really leave the ladies alone in the live. So for the men, the, the brothers in the TikTok space, you brothers told us that Korean women don't like us. And look, we have we have it from a woman today from Korea. They have no issue with the West 4B movement. So you got to go run and tell that now, right? You got to go run and tell it because you've been telling us, I went live on the West 4B movement page and then it took off on TikTok viral. And then men kind of took the 
the conversation over and said that, no, Korean women have beef with us and they would never want us to do this. Now you have the truth here today. Ask so them to name know. one Korean woman. Exactly. They, I don't think they know it. Well, we, they, no. <laughs> name were a woman. Few, I had about few, uh, like four passport bros who are in Korea right now. And they kind of said, well, no, Korean women love men. They, they want nothing more than to be around men. And it's kind of like, uh, I don't know if that's true, but okay. Oh, also, I would like to talk about thing that um, when we, I I was at the Hewa protest, that mm -hmm. protest that was been very large, like, uh, and went really viral in Korea. And we used to translate our pickets in English so we can touch the people all over the world. So, yeah, it has nothing to do with our oh, or like stealing the concept. No, it has nothing to do with it. Yes. That is amazing. That is, and I, I don't ever show my face too. And I think I didn't because I knew that is what women in South Korea were doing. Like there's no face of the of Forby in South Korea. You don't know who to point who to. You just know a voice, you may hear a sound, and that's it. But you can't point a face. So it's great that um I think I'm on the right path in how I'm doing this. And it's just an online community right now for women who are interested in it. Oh yeah, the men are the men are flipping out on TikTok. They're losing it, Burb. You should see the comment section. They're losing <sighs> it. I, I'm, I'm glad I don't have to see it, honestly. You're oh, my goodness. It's, it's, it's crazy. And I don't know why they're here, because some of them are married. Some of them have girlfriends. Some of them have babies. Mm. Why would you be in a live with a bunch of women talking about something you don't care about? It's just weird energy. Very weird. Well, I have to run, guys. I have to get stuff for a baked potato bonfire tonight. Um, well, that sounds good. Great. Yeah, I think it's fun. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much for jumping in my um, inbox. So, y'all, mm -hmm. she sent me some articles that I have not had a chance to go through. So, mm -hmm. I'm going to take a look at what she sent to me. And y'all know that I'm good for making content. So, thank you so much. We will all connect in some kind of way and do this again. Yeah. This this was organic. We, <laughs> this yeah, literally, it was. <laughs> this literally came together at 10 p.m last night and um so thank you for being here um so go ahead and drop off and kenty you can drop off whenever you you know i appreciate you jumping in um you you can stay in you don't have to stay in we are just chopping it up and um you know however you want to be in here i appreciate you jumping in here to yeah. give your perspective or she can come to tiktok if she's brave well, in a I don't life. care about like um videos going around, uh, like my voice is going around in vid uh, in TikTok. So you can use them as much as you want. So yeah, yeah. Yes. thank you so much for being here, Kanti. I think you're amazing. Uh, you're welcome. It was my great opportunity. I also message you on Gmail so that we can link up again and do this again, so that you okay, and okay. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Water. Thank you so much again, and thank you so much, Burb. This is amazing. I can't believe this happened. <laughs> Ten no, it was midnight that you text me. I was like, okay, I'll make a flyer right now. <laughs> right. So right. All right. All right, Kenti, I'm going to drop you. Thanks for coming up. Bye bye. Kenti, please check your email. Yeah. Um, Supreme? Yes, ma'am. Are, are, are you my cousin? I, I think mean, I'm your cousin. Are you Jamaican? You got some Jamaican blues. Yeah. I, I think <laughs> we're, we're gonna claim you in Kingston. That's it. Tell 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 um tell your tell my auntie, my new auntie, to send me some coffee, please. <laughs> some Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, it, this is wild that we have 400 sets of eyes in here. Wow, um, 400 people. If I heard Themis and Thoth is here. That's okay. crazy. Right. He knows who like, he He's like a celebrity on TikTok. That's crazy. Like, what is going on? Like, what literally. On? Somebody said, oh, hi, Themis. And I'm like, no, it can't be him. There's no way. There's no right. way. Right. He's, he's here. Hi, Themis. If you're still here, I love, love yeah. you a million times drop drop some um drop a comment if you're still in the in the chat um Venus. oh and Venus is Jamaican too this is why I love him I, I hope he's proud of me in making the West Forby movement because that's my Demis is one of the people who really I've watched over the years and just love him to pieces love 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 him 
So um, if if we have if we have feminists in the chat right now, if you are claiming the label of feminist, let me know where you're from. What if your cultural um your culture, your ethnicity, your race. Let me know where you are from. Um if you claim that you are um feminist. Meme BZK, yes. Um after this after I finish up with this live stream, um, I will put the replay up. So don't don't even trip. And if I can figure it out, I might even try to figure out how to take some clips and put some clips over on the TikTok land. Okay, so we need to clip it out. I'm going to clip out the, the message because, of course, in Black Talk, we have to address what brothers are saying. Yeah, because yeah. they, they, they said, yeah. I, you know what? I might even send this off. Hey, Themis and Thoth, there he is. Hi, Themis. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. Oh, my gosh, I love him. Themis, so, hi. Yeah, I'm sorry. So so I'm saying I might even send this off to an editor to help me, um, like, clip some of this off. I might even invest some of that, some money in that. Um, to get this clipped up and made into a, a video that is shareable. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that, actually. Forget it. Not even. Holy cannoli. Thank you, Terry. That This $49.99 that Terry donated, I'm going to use this to send this um, download to a, an editor so that I can clip this. I'm using that $49.99 that Terry just sent in... Um, I'm going to use that for a donation to get this clipped up and made into a um, made into a video that we can just post and have bite sized pieces, especially with the the Korean ladies. The and you know, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I can't believe Canty just so happened to. Did you hashtag it? I can't believe she just so happened to hop in here. A, a woman in Korea on some. Oh, I follow Four B. What's up? We don't have no problems with. We want for women. And she even said they learned radical feminism from the West. They make yes. their ticket signs in English because they yes. want for people to see, you know, the unity. So that is amazing. Love this. This, love this. this, this is the reason why TikTok, this is the reason why social media platforms are wild. That's the reason why me having a phone and a laptop and going to the different platforms is amazing because I've been watching them like there is no way that, you know, the women in other places are extremely happy. It's just not possible because it, it's just different forms of patriarchy. Um, and I do want to let y'all know, just you y'all know that I have kids. So if I have to go over and do mom stuff, then that's just what has to happen. Um, I am a supporter of 4B, but I am married with children. I am a feminist and I am here for women, period, and full stop. Um, that doesn't mean, um, you know, obviously I'm going to get a divorce or anything, but I think that I was put on this earth to be a connector or, you know, a mouthpiece of sorts. I don't know. <sighs> you have to be, because when I started the West for I didn't have any, not even 10 people last year followed me on TikTok. They said it was stupid, a stupid idea. And I just kept the website up. I kept going. I still did my coat drive. I did a toy drive. I was alone, but it, it still got done. So maybe this year, the coat drive, the toy drive, the dress for success donation drive, all of those things can blow up now and we could really help other women yes. from the West 4B. Because that was the goal. It was never to take money or to charge people crazy prices to fall. No, I didn't want that. I just wanted to give whatever I got to women and keep it going that way. And to also create the directory. Remember I told you about the West 4B movement directory where women who do um, have professions, if you're a barber, if you're a plumber, if you're a mechanic, we want that information for the West 4B movement directory so that we can connect women to other women in their area for services that they would have to have had picked a man for yesterday. So let's just circulate money amongst women and do things that way. I think it's a great idea. And there's nothing wrong with it, again, and it's not for all women, because I get a lot of, um, I love men, sis. Please continue to love men. We're not <laughs> we're not trying to twist your arm so you can stop loving men. Please do whatever you want to do, right? So, yeah. So, I, um, I no, am going to- That's com. Sorry. Hi, I'm going to-, I'm going to um, I'm going to put, Sasha, if you want to come up here, you can. Um, I am just kind of not sure what's going on with my um, my connection at times. So I will put, I put the, the link 
you know, I know you do things like put the link in the, the message box. And I'm like, oh, that seems kind of wild. And no, said- I, don't, I don't I wouldn't put the link because anyone can pop up and be silly. So it's um, no. I, I, yeah, I put it in there. Angie, thank you for the 20 bucks. Angie, that's, sent so cool, me- Angie, that's so nice. Angie sent me 20 bucks. Um, yeah, th- this is going to get sent off. So yeah, I um, that. am. Thank you for um, uh, uh, going to the website. I'm still working through applications. It's a heavy vetting process because I don't want any trolls. So please just wait for that text message from me on WhatsApp. Please have down- WhatsApp downloaded already. We're still going to have our Zoom meetings. We're still going to do everything that we have to do. We recently kind of had like a, an issue with WhatsApp, but we're fine now. And I'm still building it back up. And again, this is a one woman show. I'm trying my best to kind of make West 4B movement pop off. And today was the day that you kind of saw it happen. Thank you so much, Verb. You are amazing. I know you don't do your lives for more than an hour. Do you have to go? I don't have to go. Um, if I if I have to go, Demons then... come up. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> he, he, I can, he can come up if he wants to. I put the link in the thing. I don't know who who is Lake Life and who is SSG. Is SSG Sasha? I'm not sure. I I am like I just I took a shot. I, I took a chance. Your screen. I can't see your screen. Um, I don't know who SSG is in Lake Life. So I, I don't have to end the live, but I might have to leave. But y'all can talk. Okay, great. I'm going to leave as well because TikTok is popping off 200 oh. people. The, the men are oh. still, I don't, I don't know why there's so many men here. They really should be, isn't it like lunchtime somewhere in the world, men? There's a, don't you right. have a water heater to install or an so, air conditioner? So SSG, who are you? I added you to the stage. Who are you? I think this lady's a convo. I'm just learning about the 4B might do a review. Yes, Themis, if you please, if you do a review, I started the West 4B movement in New York. So Themis, please follow me. I follow you. I love you. Um, But yeah, I think I messaged you a long time ago. But yeah, thank you so much, Themis. If you do a review, please let me know. And um, um, I have a whole playlist, famous. If you want to look, I've already yeah, been making yeah. content. Tell Cynthia G. We said hi. <laughs> I know him and Cynthia G. are really close. <laughs> All right. Um, well, it. I added two people up to the thing, but they're not talking. So you know, I think that we have enough information. We have enough. Yeah, we have, we have enough, enough to create something. Exactly. I'm going to create something. And I don't know, you know, maybe by next week I will have some stuff edited. Yeah. And oh, there, there's Sasha. Okay, um, I'm. A, let me let Sasha talk for a minute. Hold on. I don't okay. know. I tried to. Okay, so I just wanted to. Since there's 400 people in here, there is a march for those of you who are in Central Florida. We are having a, a, a march to support abortion. They are trying to ban it in Florida. So if you are in South and Central Florida, please DM me. If you're interested in boots on the ground activism, please send me an email. I don't know how to enter that into the chat. I'm gonna put it here so you can throw it out there. Can y'all hear me? I can hear you. I, I put myself on mute so you could put your announcement out there. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we are organizing several marches. I'm also organizing a a Women Against Pornography march. If that sounds like something you'd be into, please, again, email me. I put my email in the chat. Uh, You could just put it in the comments so people could see it. This is my public email. Put Do it again so um, I can try. I got to catch up with the chat. The chat is going crazy. Type it again. Oh, no, no. I put it in the I put in the private one. Oh, you put it in the private one. See, Yeah, there is a lot going on. Um, <laughs> I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't comment in the other one on this. I guess it's because it's my iPhone. But I'm just trying to do this quickly. So, oh snap! Ah, snap! Did I leave? Okay. So I don't know. Oh, chat with everybody. Let's see this. Okay, I'll do it right here. I didn't leave, did I? It still says live. Oh, okay, cool. Um. Y'all, I I literally just started going live and doing this like not too long ago. So um, y'all gonna have to forgive me. Well, you know, this is all kind of just us fumbling around, right? Sister Separatist, did I, is it in the chat now? Did I put it in the chat? Or did I copy it to, uh, don't worry, we both in our dinosaur area. So you have to click the most, the... (laughs) 
<laughs> I'm getting it together. I'm gonna get it together. Watch this. I got it right here. Damn. Damn. I did it. Watch. They uh there it is. There it is. <laughs> All right. So um I'm gonna try to find it because the, the chat is going wild. Um there's a lot of people commenting that I can't even really keep up with all of this. So Sasha is sister separatist. Um, let's see. There it is. Hold on. I just saw it. Now I got to go back up. This this email chat is going wild, y'all. Um, let's see. Cynthia G is here? No. Somebody said, hey, Cynthia G. There's no way. There's no way Cynthia G is no here. Way. No, maybe maybe she she's saying tell Themis is, is supposed to tell her. I don't. Oh, okay. I don't even know if I'm on Cynthia G's radar. Me, um, yeah, no, no, none of us are. So for her to be here is like Jesus showing up. Right. You know, okay. So where is um, exactly. So guys, I will try to recreate. Not not that. Not yeah, to I'm recreate. Yeah, I want to put this up too as well. Please. I will try to recreate. I'm talking about the you know going live again because yeah. this is this is the thing we have had generations of programming and indoctrination and all of that. It's going to take more than one live an hour a week. This is going to take a lot to deprogram all of the harmful things that we have ingested um, in a patriarchy and the Lulu land for um, so many generations. So we're, we're going to do this again. And this came together so organically. I hope everybody in the chat has given me a thumbs up. Um, it looks like I have about 300 lives, but I still have 365 sets of eyeballs. So if y'all could help me get this into the algorithm, that would be great. Um, all right. Um, so last words or even, um, you know, just wrap up what you want to say. I'm going to go ahead and go on mute. Yeah. West4bmovement.com for the application process. Uh, the WhatsApp was a little crazy, zwinky the other day, but we're fine now. So please pull up to that and visit the website. So it's West4bmovement.com. Thank you. Okay, everybody in the chat, thank you very much. I am going to go ahead and end the stream. All right, y'all have a good one.